Wow. <laughs> These are looking hella pretty. Hello everybody, welcome to yet another dish. A yummy welcome to you all. So today we are going to be making this oh so colorful and oh so delicious steam bread. You don't need an oven for this. To make your steamed bread, you are going to need the following ingredients. You'll need 500 grams of flour, which is equivalent to three cups. You'll need three teaspoons of baking powder, which is basically one teaspoon per cup. You will need a bit of salt. You'll need a handful of um, pumpkin and you will need a handful of spinach. And I used uh, two strips of bacon, which I basically chopped up. You will need four tablespoons of sugar or less, depending on how you like your sweet things sweet and uh, you'll need um, a bowl or a dish basically where you'll mix everything up add your flour add your salt add three teaspoons of baking powder so far we have flour um, baking powder and salt now you will need to use your own discretion and depending on how you sweet you like things just be generous <laughs> or not okay so i like my steam bread a bit sweet not too sweet though like you know so i think i'm gonna add four tablespoons of flour <laughs> of sugar now it's time to mix all your dry ingredients I prefer using a whisk, but if you don't have it, you can always use a fork or just use your hand. So I just stir. So when making steam bread using baking powder, you do not need to use warm water. You need to use cold water. So everything is now mixed, well mixed. Okay, so what we're going to do now is add our add-ons your bacon bits your spinach and your pumpkin so once you've added everything you'll have it looking like this once again use your whisk or a fork or your hand and just mix everything up I do the mixing like this before I add water because I feel like everything just combines very well mixed everything and it looks like this now it's time to add the water okay now we're not gonna add the whole cup like I said so add and mix you do not want it too hard or too wet Just right. This table is making noise, unnecessary noise. So we're gonna add some here. So the consistency looks somewhat like this. I did not add the whole cup. I still have some water remaining in there and I'm not going to use that. Otherwise, it will be too runny. Now mix everything up. And already it's looking rather, rather pretty if I should say so myself. We have that orange color from the grated pumpkin. We have the green color from the spinach and we have some brownish looking colors for from rather from our bacon bits. Okay. Okay. 
mix everything. Okay, so everything is done now. So I'm going to be using this pot. This is like the biggest one I have. I have this. And I'm going to place it first. Okay, I will be using these small cuppy things. And I think four. Yeah, so four will fit in here like that. Okay, but before I add on my dough, I need to like put some some oil in here so that it will be easy to just take out. You can coat this in either oil or butter. I've used oil. So now I am going to pull my dough. Into each little cuppy. Do not fill it all the way up because it's still going to rise. Okay, thing is, I can't really throw this away, so I'm just going to add it onto this one. Or just all of them, basically. And it was a bit much. And here. Put some of that here. Okay. So in the end, you'll have something that looks rather like this. Oh, yeah, like that. Okay, so this is how everything looks now. You will need to add water, but make sure that it does not really touch the, the paper cups. Like you don't want them to be submerged into the water, but rather just cook off steam. So you will have to be like constantly checking if the water is still enough. I need to add water. So I'm going to take two of these, add my hot water. Okay. All right. That's perfect. Put back these babies. Add the lead. Okay, so after about maybe 10 minutes, depending on, you know, how hot your stove is, check on these babies. It might be time for you to add some more water. Hey, wow. <laughs> these are looking hella pretty. Yes, the water down there is definitely running out, so I'm going to add some more. Yeah, you can see just how much they have risen. Oh, Lord, the bacon looks delicious. When you're done cooking, set it aside and just slice. Slice it however you like. This was really colorful and nice. Delicious. This is our steamed bread. Yes, I also had some. Tastes really good. On top here, you can see our bacon bits. You can see the... Um, the grated pumpkin, you can see the chopped spinach also here on our slices. Wow. Mashed pumpkin over there. Our bake oh I almost said bacon. Our corn, our cream spinach. So yeah. I am ready. I am ready. <laughs>
to devour. <laughs> I am ready to devour. I am ready to devour. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I love cooking. I love eating. Let's just say I love food. J, just in general. So please, if you happen to try out making this steamed bread, make sure that you mention me. Make sure that you tell me how it went. Because this, um, this was my first time actually adding bacon bits. And I'm loving it. I'm thinking I'm actually going to add them all the time when I'm making the steamed bread. <sighs> Guys, I need to eat. Bye for now. This is the final plate. Super colorful. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Please do make sure you come back again. Do like, comment, and subscribe. Love, love, love.